Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. Also, I haven't seen you guys in a little bit, YouTube. I took a little break since I was doing some Warcraft 3 content. I know you guys don't really like that as much, so waiting for Reforge. But anyway, um, I've decided to check out the flashback event, even though I said I wasn't going to. People are telling me how much fun they were having, so I decided to check it out. Uh, I want to go ahead and let you guys know with what I'm starting with and a little bit of a beginner guide. So I'm going to be playing this new build I've never played before called <clears throat> Righteous Fire. Now, uh, despite what people say, I've actually never really played Righteous Fire, um, Righteous Fire Juggernaut. So I actually wanted to try it out. I figured it's a good time to play it since Mayhem is basic or Flashback is basically three past leagues plus Synthesis. So you can have like you know Beyond, Rogue Exiles. Um, uh, invasion bosses, basically lots of stuff. Um, Juggernaut is a really tanky ascendancy, so before I get started on that, I'm about to transition to Righteous Fire, but I wanted to let you guys know how I leveled, since that's usually one of the more common questions. So, right off the bat, you're gonna start, you're gonna grab Molten Strike, uh, Molten Strike right at the beginning, you're gonna go kill, uh, Hillock, who is right over here, from killing, or sorry, H Hail Rake. From there, you're going to get Ancestral Call, so you'll have Molten Strike, Ancestral Call. You're pretty much going to use Molten Strike, Ancestral Call, and then you're going to get the Onslaught Support Gem, which is this one. So you'll have, and I know I'm not using them right now, but it would be Molten Strike, Ancestral Call, Onslaught Support. I'd recommend dual wielding with whatever weapons you find. You can see I'm just using two basic axes. Uh, broad axes are really good because I think they're 1.5 attack time, which makes it really nice. Um, you're going to use that until you get to Act 2, in which case... Um, by that point, you get Sunder, and I recommend Melee Physical, Sunder, and Onslaught. So, as for the tree, it looks pretty generic. I'm probably going to mess around with it. I haven't recrafted my tree yet, but Righteous Fire hasn't really been changed too much. I picked up these three nodes here, uh, since we're going dual wield. It just helps with the attack speed scaling at the beginning. I also get a little bit from here, from Born to Fight. Uh, I went over to the left and grabbed Resolute Technique, since it helps a lot with us not missing. Uh, and then I grab Retribution. Now, when we go Righteous Fire, we're going to be respecking Resolute Technique, we're going to be respecking Retribution, and we're most likely going to be respe well, definitely respecking these three. Um, but with that being said, just to show you guys, I don't really have anything special. The damage is still totally fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump right on in and get Lab started, since this is pretty much the only hurdle you need to do to get Righteous Fire started. Also, when you get to Act 2, you'll get access to Heralds. I recommend from your Heralds to pick up Herald of Ash and Herald of Purity. And then, before you get to Act 4, I recommend doing Library. And with Library, what you can do is you can grab your Gems for Righteous Fire. So you can see I'm leveling a Burn Damage, I'm leveling Scorching Ray, which is low level right now, but that's okay. I've got my Righteous Fire, Ellie Focus Gems, and then I would grab Efficacy, but I can't grab effic Efficacy till 38. Okay, so the damage shouldn't be that good, but again, it's just enough for us to be able to clear lab, so we don't really have to invest much. I haven't really played this... How long have we been in this league? For three hours. Not that much. Eh, it's passable. Smack, smack. Smack, smack. This is kind of a shit time to do it because this is like, idols are pretty bad for us. <laughs> Rip that guy, since we have to keep jumping around everywhere. I 
I guess I could just put the Warchief Totem over there. Oh, he just got Fire Enchanted. That's okay, though. I think Fire is the only res we're capped on. Yeah, that's not really a problem. RF as a starter. Yeah, RF is a very good starter. Especially if you play RF Jug. RF Jug and RF Trickster. I mean, honestly, like, any form of Righteous Fire is good. You just have to understand how to gear it, how to play it, and the pros and cons between your RF build and other RF builds. Like Jug, for example, is naturally tanky, has really high regeneration, has great physical mitigation, and good, uh, good uh, elemental damage mitigation, and cannot be slowed, which is like super, super, super good, uh, for the most part at least. The cons would be the lack of cast speed, which may make single target damage like a bit more difficult, but with gear, you know, nothing is really a problem. Oh, I think we forgot to use Blood Rage in that previous encounter as well. Blood Rage is something I definitely recommend running. Even just level 1 Blood Rage makes a huge difference. Abyss, why do you gotta make me backtrack? That's DD. Let's get out of there. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are going to question and say, How come I'm playing Righteous Fire? It's the only thing you ever play, etc, etc, etc. And I've come to a conclusion in Path of Exile. I've tried making so many different types of builds, and I've, play I've played pretty much every type of build archetype. Obviously, some more than others. And I've come to realize that a lot of the time that I play builds like, like you know, like a build that I'm not really comfortable with, I notice that uh, on death effects become a lot more prevalent on the on the build. Like you know, trying to dodge detonate dead and trying to dodge lightning archon and stygian revenant explosion and delve explosion. And from personal experience, I've noticed that if you play a build that can ignore the things you don't like in Path of Exile, you end up having a lot more fun and you complain a lot less <laughs> me specifically so i think i'm gonna i'm gonna play this character and see you know let's just see like where it takes us because i'm sure there's gonna be a lot of on death effects uh, in this league specifically that guy's are uh, kind of mad i'm gonna just ignore him the other nice thing about flashback is you can pretty much ignore synthesis since there's so many other events going on at once you don't really feel like you're being nerfed that much like like your map drops etc a lot of people were telling me in Synthesis League, because I really didn't like Synthesis League, to just simply ignore Synthesis League. But when you ignore Synthesis League, you ignore map drops. And ignoring map drops is something that you're not usually... So in SSF, it hurts you a lot. Like, it really does hurt you quite a bit. Unfortunately, a lot of new players don't really understand that concept. Not getting any onslaught procs at all right now. May actually just swap the faster attacks out for the onslaught. Is 
that D2 music. Yep, I always have D2 music playing when I play uh, my YouTube videos on stream. Skadunk. Doing good, technician. How are you doing, bud? It's pretty annoying. Abyss jewels. I don't think you use abyss jewels with RF. Usually, you use the percentage, the other jewels for percent life. Unless you're delve crafting them. It's always the same stats for RF. Increased damage, area damage, burn damage, fire damage. Sometimes even a little bit of cast speed and attack speed's not bad. Attack speed helps your shield charge. Cast speed helps your Scorching Gray if you need to use Scorching Gray. Have I been missing the crafts on the boss rooms? Or up oh, atrium side area. Let's go back. Wait, what? Oh, Labyrinth, you never cease to confuse me. Maybe this way? No, this is a dead end, which means Atrium is not a side area? Let me go look to make sure. Thought Atrium was guaranteed side area. No, it's not a side area. Okay. That means that I think he is like right at the end of this. I'm so confused, dude. I've never been lost in normal lab before. Did I... Wait, did I... Maybe I confused myself and I did end up going the side route. Let's see, could it be here? This has to be it then. Right? There we go. Okay, swap back on the faster attacks. Definitely could have just fully buffed them, most likely. We would have been fine as well. Lucky chest? Mm, not lucky. Okay, let's go Jug, Ascend. And I really don't care much about this thing, but sure, go for it. Word of Fury. Okay, so uh, what I like to do... I mean, I've never really played this necessarily, but I would go Unstoppable, but I got lucky and got uh, Wanderlust. And since this league has a ton of shit in it already, I think I'm just going to take Unbreakable first, 
Unbreakable is super good for RF because 5% reduced damage taken. Uh, that's kind of like getting a plus, it's actually better than plus one max res. And you get 2% life regen. Um, not even gonna just go on the other, over the other stats because that's like two of the most important ones right now. Okay, out we go. So normally I would run Purity of Fire, but since Purity of Fire does not give us an extra plus one max res yet, there's not really a point to running it. So we're instead gonna run Vitality. So let's get Vitality on. Let's see how much damage we take from Righteous Fire right now. So let's just swap out like, I don't even know. Hmm, how do we do this here? Let's remove Leap Slam, use Vitality, put on Vitality, drop more burn damage. Does this actually work for Righteous Fire? Grants above providing fire based on your physical damage. Well, you kill an enemy. Can only be... I don't remember if this actually works for it or not. It's been too long. Either way, Blasphemy, Blasphemy Flammability and Vitality is going to be far superior to that anyway. So let's swap this. Let me see here. Where's Righteous Fire? Righteous Fire on. Click. How much are we going to degen? That's not that bad. We can, we can work with that. Let's see. So let's refund... I am, I am probably going to grab Arsonist right now as well. So let's do one, two, three, apply, and refund Resolute Technique. Apply. Okay. So we're going to grab, let's see, for Regeneration, um, Shaper as well. So the only thing is now is, uh, this is this is pretty much when Theory Crafting My Tree would, would kind of be ideal because I'm not sure yet the best oh here we go here's 0.8 percent regen i'm not sure on the best route to go um because for example i want to come up here for holy fire i also want to come across here for quick recovery but i also want to go and grab like i don't think i want arsonist but i, I definitely want to grab like shaper and i think even this here for a jewel is pretty good minion damage scaling is an option too um, but I, I mean, I guess for right now, for the early game, the best thing for me to do would just be to grab this and then two of these. So we'll just apply that. Probably respec a little bit later. Can also drop uh, this node up here. We don't really need retribution. Okay. Let me get the basics here going. So we're going to use, where is it here? Burn damage, righteous fire. Elemental focus um, on a triple blue that we don't have right now. We'll just, let me just replace this here. Let's see how this works out. Righteous fire, burn damage. Hmm. See if we can get a scepter. Scepter, scepter, scepter. No, Scepter would be over here. Do, 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 do. That's 22 Ellie. 62 Intelligence, though. What's my current int? 44? Eh. I just want to, like, get the character started and see if the Life Flask can out-heal it. And I'm pretty sure it can. So here's a Colossal. Let's get two Colossals. Let me just roll. 50% recovery rate. Okay, that's good. And let's put this here. Panicked. Panicked is pretty good to have with this as well. Remove poison. Seething. Okay, seething is... Oh, seething of remove ignite is the worst we can have because remove ignite turns off our RF. Okay, do we have like... Do we have any blue. We don't have any blue, which sucks. I just need two blue. Two blue, and we can get the character going, boys. Let me check over here. Those wings look really cool. Nope, no scepters in here. I mean, there's this here, this blue, blue, red. Blue, blue, red works, but that's on boots. Super unlucky. Okay, well, no problem. Let's just put this on just to see how it feels. 
And obviously it's gonna do two times the damage once we get a proper support gem in. And once we get uh, once we get a proper support gem, and once we get blasphemy flammability, which would come up next, but uh, can I drop it? I can actually run blasphemy flammability right now. Actually, let's go do that then. You miss the helmet with two blue, two red. Oh, that's right. I forgot I can use helmets now. Thank you for that. Good call. Very good call. Okay. Elemental focus, burn damage, righteous fire, swap because we don't need that anymore. And then we're gonna go to. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Where's library again? There it is. Okay. Um, Blasphemy is gonna be right over here. Blasphemy is an orb of chance. Also, 52 intelligence. Ooh, the intelligence requirements are real right now. Okay, let's use this. Take a chance orb out. I'm going to respect this node and then put a node here. Go to library. Let's grab the... Oh, I can have efficacy now too. That's awesome because efficacy is another support for us. Okay, let's take the blasphemy. Grab the efficacy later. Do I get blast or flammability? Let's see. I do get flammability too. So that's another double blue. No double blue right now though. How do I get double blue? Let's try to get some gloves. I'm sure I have double blue on gloves. Double blue, double blue. There's, this is pretty good. If I link this, this would be perfect for Righteous Fire actually. Not gonna do it yet though. No double blue gloves. Let's check the next guy over here. I'm also not going to be shield charging just yet either. This is like super basic basic since everything is SSF right now. Double blue gloves. Here's single blue, but I could chrome this. I could chrome this because it's, it's energy shield based, so double blue is pretty likely. There's double blue. Flammability Blasphemy on. Our illustrious champion. And we need Stone Golem. Where is Stone Golem? Stone Golem red on. Perfect. Hey, Fox. Appreciate the Twitch Prime, man. All right. And then Ruby Flask as well. Let's see if this is going to work. I'm pretty sure it will. Bare Bone Minimum Righteous Fire. So let's turn this on. Let's turn Vitality on. This would normally be Shield Charge Faster Attacks as well. Let's see, Onslaught support is there, Vitality is there. I guess I, I could even get the Shield Charge faster attacks. One more thing then. <laughs> what if you instantly die? Well, then YouTube would be really happy. Okay, Shield Charge. Vitality is going to go there. Shield Charge with faster attacks. Boom! Now I just need a shield, so I'm just going to destroy this by a basic shield. Anything works. Make sure we're capped fire res. Yep. Okay. Level these up. Vitality's on. Uh, shield charge on right click. <laughs> really slow shield charge, but we're starting. Look at that. That's totally manageable. Because if I put on a if I put on a life flask, we're totally fine. Let the righteous fire begin, my dudes. So for single target, we would want Scorching Gray, and or we would just want Elemental Equilibrium. But we're good. And if I hit a Ruby Flask, it pretty much stops the degen as well. Oh, is that... Wait a minute. I think I have a Quicksilver of Remove Ignite. Okay, so that Quicksilver... <laughs> that Quicksilver we cannot use. <laughs> but no, we're good to go. So that's, that's pretty much how you get righteous fire running from scratch. You can see it's... Pretty much no investment on the character. I've got, you know, arguably, like, literally nothing. Now we just gotta get, like, an Adrenaline Quicksilver. Um, some more attack speed for shield charge. And Scorching Ray for single target. We also need to get elemental damage. 
since elemental damage scaling will give us a ton of damage. We also have the option of going minion damage scaling. We've got the AoE notes up here to grab. Pretty good. Yeah, the biggest, biggest damage increase by far, though, would be getting Elemental Equilibrium. For sure. She's like... St actually, Stormbrand... Stormbrand Onslaught on hit is pretty good, too, actually. Can even use Combustion, maybe, as well. Anyway, though, that's pretty much gonna conclude the video. Sorry if it was a bit long, my dudes. Uh, I just wanted to get everything going for you. Um, obviously, I couldn't really edit anything, or, you know, I don't really edit, but I couldn't really get anything set up since I'm just now starting the um, flashback event. But just to show you guys how easy it is to get set up with Righteous Fire. So, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. And expect to see some daily slash buy daily every, every other day. Yeah, content for Mayhem. Uh, I'll also be producing some content on Guardians of Ember in the cu next couple of days. It's another action role-playing game I'm going to be checking out for just a small amount of time. But anyway, happy to be back. See you guys in a little bit. Take care, everyone, on YouTube.